Hi, welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington, where you get the whole story. And you know, people ask me sometimes, I'd like to go on tour with you. What's it like? Well, it depends on the tour, to be honest. And there's a million different tours in this town. But I'm going to announce I am bringing back my walking tour starting June 5th. Embassy Row will be the first one. We're also going to do Georgetown. I uh, also have a separate Georgetown with the Kennedy Homes. Uh, maybe Lincoln assassination if the White House fence comes down. Just have to see where that goes. But I'm going to start June 5th. I'm vaccinated. Hopefully all of you are vaccinated. We'll be safe to walk around. They're usually 90-minute tours, more or less. Um, I try to do them in the morning, Saturday mornings, so when it's not hot as blazes. Uh, but sometimes we do them in the afternoon, too. It just depends. When you see 100 degrees on the clocks, <laughs> not everybody's happy about that, including me. Uh, so you wear good shoes. Don't bring a dog. Uh, you know, we we walk and talk and walk and talk. Don't stand for long. I found I can walk forever. I can't stand for five minutes. So we have some fun along the way. I tell all the gossip because the historical crap, you know, you'll forget that five seconds later. But a good juicy story of uh, somebody fooling around, that one you're going to take home and tell your friends. So that's the kind of stuff we do. And let me give you some examples. I have lots of photos that I show on tours too because you want to envision what these people are like. They're all exterior. We're not allowed to go inside. These are private homes or embassies or whatever. On Embassy Row, they are all pretty much embassies now. I think there might be like one private home or, or somebody's office. Well, we start off on DuPont Circle. And you know this guy, Admiral DuPont. Well, you never probably saw this because this is how these first started out. The building right over here is still there, though. It's a law office. But uh, the story, I've heard two ways. Uh, the DuPont family, which you know is the rich folks who paint chemicals, all that stuff. Uh, they thought this was such a great statue that they wanted it for their estate in Delaware. Also heard they thought it was so ugly they wanted to hide it in Delaware. I, I don't know which one's really true. Uh, but they swapped us for that big, nice fountain that you see there now. So that's why the DuPont Circle doesn't have him anymore. Uh, but there's a lot of cool things that happen around DuPont Circle. Check this out. It's when they built the tunnel under DuPont Circle. This is the very first car that went under. You notice one weird thing? Guys driving on the right side of the road. There's a photographer for a local paper taking a picture of them. People up, up the top cheering it. They, they built the tunnel and they actually made it a, um, a bomb shelter at one time in case the Russians nuked us. We could hide under there. <laughs> that, that worked out well, right? Weird stuff. Here's one of the 68 rides. Look at this, man. This looks like something straight out of Belfast or something. You know, that's National Guard. You know, here's the old, I mean, this looks like something in Europe you'd see after the wars. Uh, but this was, you know, thing, DuPont Circle was pretty crazy during the Vietnam era because it was a big area. There's eight, there's, I'm sorry, there's 10 roads that go into DuPont Circle. So lots of crowds there. You know, you can see anybody from tightrope walking to training dogs to playing music. It, it's a show there all the time. We usually meet there. Uh, and then one house on the side is uh, Sissy Patterson's. And I love the hat. And she inherited the house from her father. Um, among all the people, uh, Charles Lindbergh actually stopped by to visit. It's a big white stone one you'll see. And she was a newspaper heiress, uh, took over a paper here in town that's now gone. Got a lot of women that first starts in the business by going there. Uh, Says so she was a mean woman. Lots of gossip on her. Uh, another one, Evelyn Walsh McLean. See this big thing? That's the Hope Diamond right around her neck. She wore it every day. Her house is, is down the street. And that diamond is now in the Smithsonian. You can see it there. Not nearly as big. You know, 47 carats. It's not big. Well, I mean, it's like, you know, I figured it'd be like, you know, a hunk of rock, like a baseball. Um, she also has her demons. Man, these people threw some parties. They went through some money. Basically, a lot of billionaire money went away. They had parties for 2,000 people. We'll see their home. It's now an embassy. Um, one of my favorite characters here is Alice Roosevelt. And you can see Alice right here. She was called the Other Washington Monument. Here was her kind of coming out dress. Remember when we were talking about whether it's blue or gold a few years ago? That's Alice Blue. And it's blue. I don't know where you people are seeing gold from. But anyway, Alice was, was a real hellion. She was Teddy Roosevelt's first child. Uh, unfortunately, her mother and... Uh, and her mother, uh, grandmother, I should say, both died pretty much the day she was born. And Teddy had her go live with his sister for a while. But eventually the Roosevelts all uh, gathered for the White House years. 
And Teddy, you know, they, they all, the Roosevelt's were an awesome family. I talk a little bit about all these people. They all served in the wars, did some really great things here. There's, there's Teddy uh, Jr., as they called him. And you know the weird part about Teddy Roosevelt? He hated the name Teddy. He liked being called TR. The stupid bear, he didn't make any money off that bear. He hated being called Teddy. But Alice, we talk about a lot. You know, she actually got married at the White House. This is her dress that I found. 10,000 people came outside the White House just to see her. And uh, then she eventually married Nicholas Longworth. Hmm, that name sounds familiar. Big building up on Capitol Hill named for him. Uh, they weren't the closest of married couples, but after 19 years, Alice was pregnant. Man, it's a miracle. Uh, we found out in Alice's diaries after she passed away that uh, she had an affair with William Bora, who was a senator from Idaho, richest man in the Senate. Uh, but nobody knew this, including the child uh, um, on there. They, she didn't. She kept that secret all the way, which is amazing because Alice Roosevelt was known as the king, queen of gossip in this town. Um, here she is in her later years. She said she wore this big hat to keep that rogue elephant LBJ from kissing her. Well, there she is with LBJ. He's not kissing her, so I guess it worked out for her. On there, it's it. Really cool. There's a lot of great gossip stories I talk about on this. Oh, a lot of presidents you'll see, you know, just like Herbert Hoover has a house. Back then, five presidents would go by. Oh, hey, Woodrow Wilson throwing out a first pitch. You know, got to love baseball guy. He lived over there. In between them is this guy now, Jeff Bezos. Uh, he's been, they finally got his house finished after like two years of renovations. I don't see Jeff out watering the garden, but, uh, you know, he lives there. We do not go by the Obama house because there's a cop sitting at the end of the street who says, go away. And I'm not going to mess with them. You know, there's lots of other things. Too. You know, there was a terrorist bombing uh, at Sheridan Circle right there. And here's the aftermath. Here's it. It was a Chilean exile, Orlando Letier, uh, was bad mouthing the Chilean government. And they've proven that the Chilean government put a hit on them right there at the circle. We can, we'll see the spot in the monument, all that. There's so many of these things that are around there. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, we just keep hitting. I think we hit like 15 spots or so in 90 minutes. So um, we go leisurely paced. I'm not going to wear you out mostly because I can't walk fast enough. We'll go up to Spanish steps, things like that. There's tons of things around there. And that's true of all my tours. I do it so that we start and finish in the same place. We're near a metro stop. You know, you learn a lot of local history. And then you go eat. You know, if you want to bring me with you, that's fine, too. But not on this one. We're going to do some uh, other interesting tours later on this summer. I know a lot of uh, Washington football fans, Redskins fans, want to do the pizza and pigskin tours. Uh, you know, if the pandemic ends like we hope, or at least gets down low, I, I'm planning to do that this summer, uh, where I'll get about 10 people and we'll uh, sit and eat pizza and talk football or whatever you want to talk about, do a little bit of touring. Uh, I'm not going to walk you much. But um, I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping things are getting better. We're all getting vaccinated. And so I hope to start that uh, maybe August or September. We'll see where, how it goes. All right. So that's kind of what it's like to go on tour with these things. Lots of fun. Learn a lot of things. Get something to eat. I'm Rick Snyder for Rick Snyder's Washington. I hope to see you on tour soon. MonumentalThoughts.com is my website. Uh, tour Tickets are not up yet, but they will be soon. On there. You're going to have to sign a COVID waiver for me. I appreciate that. You'll see it. All right. I'll see you again soon. Thanks.